Jerry Gaming here. Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you guys how I play my Hanakata. This is purely my experience. If you have any secret moves, please leave a comment so that I can learn too. Since I was keep bullying my Hanakata, I have the responsibility to raise his popularity. Ah, I feel that Hanakata will be more and more famous soon. Yay! I will have different set of traits for my Hanakata. This is my abilities page when I am a soul rebounder. This is my abilities page when our team has picked second rebounder. The main difference is block shot chance to double center. The best formation for him will be Naito or Sakuragi plus Sento or Kenji Fujima plus Hanakata. In my opinion, Takasako will not be a good choice. The team's running speed is just too slow. Sakuragi or Naito can chase down a long range shot. Hanakata and Takasago sometimes are not able to follow up the shooter speed. Okay, let's start the tutorial. As usual, I have labeled the skill button. This is the effective area for Hanakata fade away. We have to remember this. Same as Misri fade away. We have to pull our movement analog backwards together with our normal shoot button. Next is floater. Press 1 1 with pulling away your left analog to the opposite direction of your dribble hand. This is the technique for all the post move skill. Next is driving shot. The simplest one. Just press 3 3 without any tricks. Done. So we can mix and match the above skills together. The combo one is driving first, then use floater. 3 1 1. Remember to pull away your left analog opposite direction of your dribble hand. Next is post move spin with driving shot. 1 3 3. Next is driving shot with fade away. 3 then shoot with pulling away your left analog. The longest fade away distance is always leading us to step beyond 3 point line after faded away. Just like this. Last but not least is our ultimate fade away. Yes, he can use it like Rukawa. If you haven't watched the video, please click the link on top for more information. Same concept, from the left basket we will drive to the right. From the right basket we will drive to the left. Hanakata ultimate fade away is much easier than Rukawa. After driving to the longest distance, or shock away defenders, then we just do a fade away. Simple and clean. Okay, done. Let's start a match. Since Sakuragi is with me, so I will take the second abilities page. I have explained the formation that fit Hanakata at the start of the video. If another one taking another slow poke, we will suffer, especially for taking another C. So as a center, we will always need to block the first point of scorer, just like we will block Takasago first point. At the beginning of a match, I will always do a driving then pass. This action is to test the rival's reaction. We can do the same trick with one time post move spin. When competing in rebounding, same concept is applicable while we are playing as Sakuragi. Don't let the strange muscle guy touch our body. Speed up plus rebound button must be used. As mentioned in the rebounding video, the missed dunks and layup rebounds will always be the low bounce. The angel abilities will become more important than strength. In this kind of scenario, so long the ball is started to blink, immediately grab the rebound. This is the reason that Hanakata need a second rebounder teammate, like Sakuragi in this match. It helps us to grab a lot of offensive rebounds while our am position positioning myself around 3 point line. My threat is incorrect for the soul rebounder. I must bring dash and rebound. Since I have yet to attain the threat, I use double C to replace it. If you are the soul rebounder, must equip dash and rebound. If not, we will get bullied by those muscle guys. As a center, I will assist Sento to defend Fujima's step shot. But I will not try to block him. I will just stand in front of him. Although it's not the best decision, it's much better than letting Kenji pass us to Takasago for a free dunk. Guys, please pay more attention to the Sento positioning. It is a amazing defender. He has taught Kenji a lot of time while maintaining his guard stance. I believe he equips control abilities. If my jump ability Sento is using this technique, I will sit on the floor. OMG OMG! Monkey block my fade away! Nice block from Monkey. My positioning is very bad. I dash to the crowd. Then I get what I deserve. Haha <laughs> guys, don't laugh too loud. Kyoto is a very good defender for any fade away, so long he reserves his leap forward skill. After confirm the shooter is using fade away, his leap forward block can close the distance and still able to block the shot. Give him a light. If the onboard defender was cheated and jumped for your pump fake, immediately use driving fade away. They will unable to follow up if his teammate is not helping. Therefore, we should try our best to defend the shooter if our teammate already jumped in the air. This is the weakness of Hanakata, that is blocking. If I am Jun, I will able to block this dunk. It requires us to be more precise in blocking for dunks and layup. 
Ah, uh, this is the point that I laugh at him. I am so bad. This is another simple technique for every shooter. Just step on three points line and do a normal jump shot. Simple and very effective, but it missed. This is the combo that I mentioned. Driving then use spin move to do a floater. Hanagata resistance is very high, so long not getting blocked always is a good try. That is the reason we need to play him like a shooter, not a center. Looking for wide open chances rather than attacking the basket. Hanagata is a very good shooter. His drive can really shake off defender. Once we have found this kind of opportunity, do not hesitate. Just do a fade away. So long it's wide open, our teammate will be happy to see that. Even if miss. If we can't create any open look, just pass the ball and reset the play. Don't be so stubborn. Die, die, also want to shoot. No good, no good. Hanagata is facing another problem. If your team already has two strong scorers, we better don't take Hanakata anymore. He will encounter another difficulty. No one is passing to you. Then we will feel frustrated. The more anger we feel, the more likely that we will take more bad shot. If our teammate is telling us their LT is ready, we should pass the ball ball to them. Especially center who has scoring LT. We need to clear their daily quest too. Excluded those liar that telling us that his LT is ready, then do a dunk and get blocked. The major concern of being so C as Hanakata is no one grab the rebound while you miss a shot. Then the rival has the advantage to control the rebound. If the rival team is Jun, who good at boxing out, we will see Hanakata is being bumped away at weird spot. Then Jun can dunk freely. Another tip for you guys. How to really block Hanakata floater and driving shot. With block shot track level 5 and our reaction is fast, after he jump, then you jump immediately. We will still able to block his shot. So center don't give up those blocks. Center will always block the floater and driving shot. Teammates must assist center to block Hanakata fade away. Especially for Jun. If his teammates are not helping him, good Hanakata can find a lot of wide open looks. That time, teammates don't show bad emoji because it's not the center fault. I have correctly predicted the movement of Kenji, but react too early. So sad. We can stop Kenji by blocking his driving lane. It's slow to do that. This is my mistake too. When playing as Hanakata, I will keep thinking I'm shooter. In defense as well, this is not good. I will keep chasing down the shooter even I run so slow. Bad example. In last 30 seconds, we will better to waste some time. If we pass carefully, Takasago can never success to deceive on us. We really need to do our part. Putting more attention to the passing arrow above our teammate's head. Then Takasago has no chance, so we can laugh at him. <laughs> Another fade away. Nice. If Komaki in private team, we better don't take Hanakata. Our post move and driving skills, Komaki can directly steal our bobo. We hardly to create space. Nice steal from Sento. His concept is damn good. Only try to steal rival's bobo while stop the ball handler. Haha, this is the secret move that I didn't mention in the beginning of the video. Don't scold me. With this combo, we can create a lot of spaces. Mean is post spin move plus driving fade away. The combo is 1 plus 3 plus fade away. If you enjoy the content, and please give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys. I will be back.